Welcome to this video guide for the express setup process for Stratix 5200 and Stratix 5800 switches featuring iOS XE. The express setup process is the same for both switch families. This process is detailed in the user manuals for both switch families along with some troubleshooting steps if any issues are encountered during express setup. The first step in the express setup process is to apply power to the switch and wait for the boot cycle to complete. Stratix 5200 and 5800 switches use iOS XE, a modularized Linux-based switch software that can deliver containerized applications alongside iOS, with focus on programmability via APIs and integrated security capabilities. Advanced security features in iOS XE, such as secure boot, integrity checks and image verification, increased firmware size, and modular software architecture require more time for initialization during the boot process. Once the power on process has completed, the EIP mod and setup status indicators should be flashing green. Locate the Express Setup button. There are three Express Setup modes, Short Press, which takes care of initial setup with a default IP address, Medium Press, which also takes care of initial setup but uses a DHCP assigned IP address, and Long Press, which also resets the switch to a factory default state and is typically used when setting up a previously configured device. This video will focus on the short press mode which requires a directly connected computer to complete the setup process. Press and hold the express setup button for 5 seconds and then release. Please note that if you do not press the express setup button within 5 minutes after power on completes, the setup light will turn off. However, you can still run express setup after the setup indicator turns off. The switch will select an ethernet interface and the LED for that interface will begin to flash. Connect an Ethernet cable from the flashing interface on the switch to your workstation. The switch acts as a DHCP server, so your workstation NIC should be set to obtain a DHCP address automatically. Your workstation will be assigned an IP address of 192.168.1.1 in VLAN 1000 while the switch IP address is 192.168.1.254. It is now time to connect to the switch and complete express setup via the web UI. Supported browsers include Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Apple Safari. This demonstration will use Chrome. Open your browser and navigate to the switch IP address of 192.168.1.254. Click past any security warnings and the login prompt will display. Enter the login credentials using admin for the username and switch for the password and click login. The account settings page will display next. You can leave the login name set to admin or change it if needed. Enter a new password and confirm it in the appropriate fields. You can choose to have the command line password be the same as the login password or change it to something else. In this example, the sync to login password option will be used. Enter the device name next and if you have any NTP information now you can enter it or if not, it can be configured after express setup is complete. Verify the information entered is correct, and click Basic Settings to move on to the next section. On the Basic Settings screen, you can choose how your switch will receive an IP address, either through DHCP assignment or static addressing. This example will use a static IP address. Enter the VLAN ID for the switch management VLAN. The default setting is VLAN 1, but it is best to change this to something that better fits your network requirements. Next, enter the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. The default gateway is listed as optional, but it is recommended that a gateway IP is entered. You can choose which interfaces are associated with the VLAN ID assigned. This example keeps the default setting which assigns this VLAN to all interfaces. To view the remaining settings available on this page including Telnet, SSH, and CIP settings, scroll down. This example will use the default settings. Click Day 0 Config Summary to move on to the next step. The Configuration Summary page will display. Use this screen to review the settings you configured before committing them to the switch. You can click the CLI Preview button if you would like to review which CLI commands will be entered to configure the switch. Once the configuration is reviewed and accepted, click Submit. The switch will initialize its configuration for typical Ethernet IP protocols by running the global macro, which is a benefit of the express setup process. The switch can now be connected to the network and configured further by accessing the web UI or it can be connected to directly using the newly assigned IP address. If direct connection is required, 
you will need to change your workstation IP settings in order to connect since the switch is no longer using the default IP address. The express setup process is now complete and the web UI can now be used to make any configuration changes including smart port settings, VLANs, network address translation, precision time protocol and more. Thank you for watching this video on Express Setup.